Hello my friends and welcome back to Cyberpunk. In our last video we did end our day just outside of Vic's clinics and I hear our our, our crazy prophet over there so we need to go check in on him as well today but before we do that let's try to finish up the little bits that I can of this fool on the hill quest that I received at the end of the last video and, and talk to Victor about it. Oh, you see, this was my concern. There was gonna be a lot of questions about Johnny and the chip, so I'm glad I paused when I did. But anyway, let's talk about Johnny and the chip. Got a few questions about Silverhand and this chip. I'm no expert, but fire away. See what I can do. What do I do if he tries to kill me? I, again, I feel like that's the part you're missing, or that word you're missing, again, because he's already tried to kill you once, me. Anyway. Tried to flatline me. Mm-hmm. Johnny did. What? Yeah. What can I do to suppress him? You know, avoid my murder? Well, long as you don't give him control, can't do too much harm. Of course, that won't necessarily be possible after some time. And what then? What do you say we don't let things get that far? Find a way to get rid of Silverhand and fast. Okay, I don't really do fast. Why can I see him? How is it even possible seeing him? Well, that biochip is designed for users to communicate with constructs. It's just doing its job. So I got Arasaka to thank. You know, I wager you have the lowest net worth of any relic owner out there. <laughs> Probably. Uh, why am I seeing his memories? Why am I reliving Johnny's memories? You two share a brain now. He has access to your senses, perceptions, even some memories. Likewise, you've got a glimpse into his. After a while, won't even know whose is whose. That's very scary. How's Biz? How's Biz going? Uh, can't complain. Corpos learned to keep their distance, and Sokka's back hiring lone mercs. They all gotta have the newest, shiniest implants. I think you got Misty here to help. Handles your griping well. Yeah, renting out her shop's the best decision I ever made. Know what? Seems like you're the only person in Night City who's happy with his lot. You get to a certain age, you drop all your illusions. Life just gets easier from there. I feel like I heard that before. But anyway, I saw a weird mural on the wall. Listen, don't laugh, but I'm seeing some weird shit around town. Like, murals or something. But no, they're not real. Uh, just a Kiroshi blip. Could take a look. No. No, images are too complex for a blip. It's like they're... symbols. That case is the biochip. Brain can't handle the data overload. Either that, or it's reached the cortex. Can you do anything? Nope. Better find a way to get rid of that chip. So, if it's the chip, then... It's Johnny's, like, Johnny's memories with these tarot. Is that what you're saying to me? That I genuinely, a lot of this stuff makes no sense to me. <laughs> okay, but there is another one right nearby. And a side job right nearby. There's so many things right nearby. And I tell you, no! <laughs> the Arasakas are no ordinary plants. They're not even human. The Arasakas aren't even human, did you hear? Did I go the wrong way? I'm totally going the wrong way. I thought it was telling me to go to the elevator. It. I just kind of went this way and didn't question it. <laughs> okay, it's up still. Oh, well, there's a, I mean, it's not the best of views, but it's a, not a bad view. The world. Here we go, right? The world lies at the end of the fool's long and winding journey. Why do I get the feeling like uh, V is the fool in, in this situation? Wiser and more world weary than he started out, the fool faces a moment of reckoning. Some of us accept where our journey has led us to, while others embark on a new challenge. One thing in this world is certain. You can't have it all. So this is the end of end of V's journey. 
Oh my goodness, El Capitan and his, his text messages about his cars. If you've always dreamed of living like a rock star but still don't know how many strings a guitar has, all is not lost. I have a Porsche 911 Turbo Cabriolet. 930, a hem, that means a convertible, okay? That sports a, a spicy black and yellow paint job. It also features unique decals designed by probably the biggest samurai fan to ever walk this earth. Get it now. Don't think twice. Legendary rocker boy Johnny Silverhand definitely wouldn't. I, I don't need to worry about that right now, please. Oh, my gosh. So I can text Evelyn. Let's hold off on that. And then apartments for rent. V, heard you're making a name for yourself out there. How about some new digs, too? My chum over at Easy Estates told me there's a few fresh units for rent. They could give you a current... They could give your current pad a makeover, too. Oh, wow. Go to their net page or visit them in person before some gonk grabs the best ones. Think this one's right up your alley. Is that my current apartment? Yeah, thank you. I will check it out. That's what I'm talking about, V. You'll love what I have in store for you. Guns, rides, digs, only the best for my people. How am I one of your people? Robert Wilson, bang and sale. Hey V, need a favor, Chumba. Want to hold a clearance sale? No junk, pre-merch only. You know me. Problem is, hardly no one else does. Biz is slow, but that's where you come in. Next time you're around, why don't you stop by, browse around? Won't find better deals any place. And if you could put out a good word to your chums, I'd really appreciate it. I don't know who Robert Wilson is. Oh, Mama Wells. V, V, we need to talk. Please pick up. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mama Wells. I was in the middle of something and I'll call you back later. <sighs> I want it. <sighs> There's a side job right here. I need to go get my car. That's what I meant to do in the last video. <laughs> and what I was going to do after I talked to Vic today, but there's just all these things going on. And I wonder if the, I think somebody mentioned in the comments and maybe I'm confusing it with somebody else or something else rather, um, that my crazy prophet over here has a side quest. I feel like it's, maybe it's in the same spot, but I could entirely be wrong. But uh, he's awake and ranting. I can hear that much. Oh, how are, how are, th you no. the <laughs> he, he's awake. How are things, Misty? How's it going, Misty? You all right? No. I think so. Not easy, you know, putting my life back together without him. Yeah. And you? I mean, you too? With him in my head, it's never easy. With him in my head, hasn't been too easy either. Yeah, not too many people could handle that. But I still think you two could find a silver lining somehow. <laughs> Do you want to read my tarot? Want to read my tarot? Sure thing. The Wheel of Fortune, reversed. You'll meet some setbacks in the future. Consequences of poor decisions, obviously. <laughs> I feel like I'm being judged. Justice reversed. Be very careful with those you meet. Not all will be worthy of your trust. Clearly. The High Priestess. Do not seek simple answers. Be open to your intuition, your subconscious, your dreams. Okay. The moon. In her light, what was once far away and difficult to grasp becomes sharp and clear. Oh, okay. Thank, thank you. Want to read my tarot? Oh. Sure thing. No, no, no. I, I don't need to do it again. I... The hermit. Oh. In solitude, he discovers the truth about himself and the world. From this, he draws strength. His lantern cutting through the darkness. Could be you or someone who shows you kindness. But watch out. A reversed hierophant lurks in the darkness. Uh oh. He brings crisis both in life and authority, rebellion and fanaticism. 
He is a grave threat. I say, uh-oh, like I even know what it means. <laughs> the devil reversed. You will find yourself under the influence of powerful people with unclear motives. Be very careful. Okay. The tower. You and everyone around you will experience a great shock. When the tower falls, nothing will be the same again. Nothing at all. Thank, thank you for the warning. Thanks for the heads up, Misty. Oh, watch out. I'm glad you understand. I, I don't understand. I'm gonna stand up. No, stand up this time. I think the tower already fell, Misty. Oh no, he stopped ranting. Is what he? You, is, no! Oh. The Arasakas are no ordinary yeah, clan. They're not even human. Vampires, yeah. the lot. <laughs> get those kind of Their bodies, they never age. But notice their eyes, cold and dead. Nah, change their corporation the exists yeah. only as cover for their oh, wicked I means to live, or rather, yeah. to remain yeah. undead. I tell you now, Saburo is not gone from our world. He rests undisturbed in the family crypt. He feasts on the blood of his servants, awaiting his body's rejuvenation to return once more. Mark my words! Yeah, they are working on immortality tech. That wouldn't be a total shocker. Said on TV, Arasaka's working on immortality tech. A hollow lie to conceal their inhuman nature. Its source flows not through technology, but through their undead blood. But how could mere mortals become these death-defying abominations, you ask? With the help of techno-necromancers from Alpha Centauri. It was their tainted blood Saburo Arasaka drank to transform himself into this devil spawn. Gary, you can't spill Arasaka's secrets. They gonna find you! Let them! <laughs> the seed has been sown. The truth shall sprout roots and lift us from the invaders' clutches. That is? I recognize you. <laughs> you come here often. Your eyes tell me that your mind has opened to the truth. Will you provide a humble donation so that I may continue my mission? I'll do better than humble. You do good work. Use this to wake Night City up. <laughs> Thank you for your devotion. You're welcome. I saw a disciple of truth in you from the very beginning. <laughs> I, I gotta support my local crazy, Radio right? Waves, bear the truth. I don't know what's going on with all the flashes on the screens, but that that's happening. Okay, so I wanted to go to human nature. Fetch your vehicle. That's what I meant to do today. Let those with but ears listen and those with eyes. There's so many things happening. I, I, I'm not complaining. I'm, I'm, I'm not mad about it. Oh, it's not that far. We can just walk instead of fast traveling. I don't, again, I don't know why I need to go and get my car because I left my car in my garage. Oh, well, actually, I don't know where I left my car, to be honest. I feel like I did use it for something. Sorry, I have a walking problem. Gerald can attest to this and every single character I've ever played. Well, that's an entrance to my... Murderer. I got one word. Masterpiece. And then suddenly, boom, it all made sense. What the main girl saw, it was all a lie. The net runner hacked her eyes. So who was the electro killer? The net runner, or the implants themselves. Depends how you look at it. It broke her down, she couldn't take it. Took to the noose. Bottom line, keep Karen on your chrome. Think we've all been in her shoes. <laughs> I did question my game because I'm seeing a lot of duplicate, like, people on the street right next to each other. So I wonder if my, I mean, the, it does work. <laughs> it's not broke. I, but I, I'm sorry, I was distracted by the uh, advertisement for a television show, perhaps. 
I, I, the game's fine. It works. My story is working. But some of the environmentalness of it is very um, distracting when they all look the same. See, there's my car. Everything's fine. Motherfucker! Johnny, did you see what happened? Something feels off here. You don't say. <laughs> I don't mean the wreck, I mean the run. City's most courteous chauffeur up and drives away from the scene of an accident. What? Leave damaged car? Gosh, where am I? I. That. What? <laughs> I didn't get my car to get hit by a Delamain car. And then, okay. You're eligible for compensation. Please accept our sincerest apologies regarding traffic incident to that very long number. The Delamain Corporation cordially invites you to its main headquarters in order to assess damages and arrange for compensation. And then fight night. Yo V. Watson's open now. You're a free woman. Just don't forget about the fights, all right? It'd be a shame not to put that talent of yours to good use. Um, okay. T tune up now. Uh, okay, I will read that later. Oh no, I have a hero. Call Mama Wells. Oh my goodness. I... Oh, I don't know what I want to do next. I... There are so many things. Barry, another side job? Wasn't I just over there? And went here and... Okay, I, I want to go up to my apartment. That's what I would like to do right now if I can remember how to do that. Here's the elevator. Because it said something about being able to change the look of your apartment from El Capitan. And I'm wondering if that's an actual thing that I can do. I... I may be completely inaccurate, but I would like to waste money on redecorating my apartment. <laughs> and we can get caught up on our, our local news or advertisements at least. All foods, we've been there. They're meat paste that's made of bugs. I mean, if I don't know about it and it tastes fine, I, I suppose that's okay. But I, 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 I need to leave now. This is so awkward. Um, here's my, oh, and there's one outside my apartment. <laughs> Resemble the fool. Of course it's a fool because that's what they said. That's what, Misty said, I need to think about where I'm finding them and how it relates. I'm I'm the fool. Well, V's the fool. I'm not the fool, obviously. The fool is everyone, including you and me. Each step he takes on his journey feels like stepping into a brave new world. Ultimately, the journey will change him. But as the card shows, he's a trustworthy lad whose tireless hope drives him towards his goal. I'm okay. Sure. Okay. Let me go in here and then... Guessing the internet, and then I need to find auto fixer. Other. Uh, maybe it's not auto fixer. Easy estates. Here we go. Corpo Plaza. Makeovers. Coronado Twilight. Lunar Tranquility, California Max, or Neon Sands. Hmm. So we can go with orange couches, white couches, gray couches. I feel like otherwise it, there's a cat. Does the cat come with it? Cause I want a kitty. I haven't seen my, my stray cat anywhere. Um, they all look like they're the same price. Let's purchase Coronado Twilight. Why not waste some money? Oh, it's all gray. That's cool. It's 
Somebody's on a roll. Not bad. Okay, I can get my drugs and my drinks from there. It's very silver. I didn't think it would be this silver. What is the place? Iguana egg. Oh, yeah. Now what? I don't know. Patience is a virtue. Oh. Does it just sit here the whole time? I mean, it's in a bowl like it's going to get eight or something. That's kind of weird. All right, well, I redecorated my apartment. I'm not sure how I feel about it. It's very metallic, like everywhere. Okay. All right. I feel like I should probably do Mama Wells next. Because um, that just to me makes the most sense. My, my best friend Jackie has died. I should probably talk to his mom. So let's do that. B. Good to hear you. Hi. Finally. Been a long time since we talk. Since when Jackie passed away. How are you doing? How are you doing? How you think? My son is dead. But I am hanging in there. Wanted to offer my condolences? Call in to offer my condolences. Mm. Offer your condolences. Ay, Jesus Cristo, V. You lived under our roof. Have the decency not to treat me like some stranger you just met. Okay. I was going to call you. I prepared an ofrenda for Jaquito. We can't let him go without a proper goodbye. The ceremony will be at the Coyote Cojo. Many of his friends will be there. I'll be there too. Do my best to make... No, no, we will be there. Absolutely. Say no more, Mama Wells. I'll be there. I did not doubt it for a second. Ahí te veo, Bye. Oh, meet Mama Wells at El Coyote Coho, which is in Haywood, right? Which is. Wait, wow! Look at all the look at all the things to do. And there's all kinds of beat on the brat. There's so much. There's so many. Look at the map. There's so many things. Oh my god. There's nothing over here though. By the international and translunar, I'm guessing that's the airport. You know. But anyway, um, I wouldn't happen to have a fast travel point. Oh, I do. So I was like, that would be the most convenient thing to have. Whoa. So sorry, sir. Cause that's a long ways away and I don't have a car, do I? But then once we get down here, then we can do some side stuff. I gotta make more money to redecorate, you know. <laughs> oh. Hello? Already? Sure got that ear to the ground. Yeah. Siempre. Anyway, you'll need something. You know where to find me. Okay. El Padrino. Bastion Padre Ibarra. Come and see me in my little parish when you have a spare moment we can sit and talk. How do I know where you are? Like, is there something on here that's... Oh, there's an apartment to rent. Auto fixer. Oh. Is this... He has 11 gigs. Oh, how many... Is there one of those things up here in Watson? There is one of those things up here in Watson. 23 gigs, Regina! My God! That's a lot of things to do. You are a very needy person all the way up here. Okay. Um, and then... Uh, there, is there, I'm assuming there's more in each section, but you know what? It's fine. Oh my God. A psycho. Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> okay. Where is El Coyote? It's over here. Yes. Don't get hit. Let's not get hit. Because this is where I started the game. 
feels like so long ago, but I feel like it's just a lot has happened in the last three, four videos. The pool table? We got to get rid of it. Really? It's pretty massive. So? Maybe we scooch it, put it up against the wall. Hi. V. Nice to see you. Oye, sit. Sit. You want a beer? Yes. One mind one. Salud. A lot of time has passed. How you been? Yeah, we've definitely been better. Been better, to tell you the truth. What is happening? That night when... when Jackie fell. Let's just say... Things haven't exactly been easy since. Yo sé cómo te sientes. Todos lo sabemos. I am in the middle of preparing an ofrenda. There is still so much to take care of. Uh, what's an ofrenda? An ofrenda? What's that exactly? Friends and family. We gather to celebrate the departed. Our memories of them. And we bring things they loved in life and might need in the after. Sure some beard be at the top of Jackie's list. Hmm. <laughs> And there will be beer. Yeah, can I help you? Could help you with that. Gracias, mi cielo. But I will manage. It's enough you come to say goodbye. Okay. Well, I want to take part in the ceremony for sure. want to take part in the ceremony, but... I want to do it the right way. In line with tradition. Mm-hmm. But... Something I'd, I'd lay by his casket that would do justice to his memory, I... I don't got anything. But your heart is in the right place, mi niña. Don't worry. He's symbolic. Look for something in his garage. His past is all there. His garage? Jackie had a garage? He used it for his motorcycle, mostly. But not so long ago he moved in. You'll find something there, I'm sure. Won't mind me digging through his stuff? No, mija. He's gone, and funerals are for the living, not the dead. Toma, take the key. Okay. Take the key and stand. Thanks, Mama Wells. Ah, don't mention it, V. You have respect. I admire that. The garage is on Republic. Ahí te veo. I... Oh, oh, oh. I... This is gonna be, like, great and yet awful and great and... I know, when I'm scanning and, and looking around, I'm missing all sorts of loot. I'm fully aware. <laughs> but sometimes I just get so excited to see what's going to happen that I just forget everything. Ay, fuck it. A dozen cases, two. See, lemons and limes too much. Zora and the tequila. I don't know if that's for the bar or if that's for the ofrenda. Yes, it's me. I am having an ofrenda. I must send my son off. Yes, consider yourself invited. Mm. See you then. Okay. Here's some coffee. Gabriela Hernandez. And then... Looking at everything. Oh, is that Misty? Oh, sweetie, I just saw Abby. you. Hi. Are you just sitting here alone? You here alone? This is not exactly the safest neighborhood in town, Misty. I used to sit on the stairs when I was 10. 26 now. If anything was going to happen. It wouldn't have taken this long. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Sitting and waiting. And yeah, waiting for him. 
though I know he's never coming back. Yeah. Lately, I've just been coming here to sit. An hour, sometimes two. I know it's gonk, it's just... I miss him. A lot. Wanna sit? Catch up? Mm-hmm. Sure. Hang on one second, though. I just realized I didn't read the quest text. <laughs> so I don't usually give advice, but fuck it, here goes. Don't make the same mistake I made. Say goodbye to the people you love. You know what I mean, right? Jackie Wells was your best choom, and you don't find a lot of straight-up peeps like that in NC. Best thing you can do is remember them. Oh, and one more thing. If anyone asks, I didn't just say all that to you. Got it? Who is speaking to me now? Misty. While Victor is a healer of bullet and blade wounds, Misty is a mender of broken spirits. Misty's Esoterica, a small shop in front of a Ripper Dot clinic, is stocked with an assortment of aura cleansing incense sticks, yarrow stems, Tibetan Book of the Dead shards, and pendants for good luck. Though Misty gets more customers than Victor, this smart and sensitive woman somehow always finds the time to help her friend in difficult moments, at times almost taking on the role of a full fledged nurse. Aww. I want to go shopping at Misty's shop. I'm just saying. Okay, now we will sit and say that's normal. Hardly gonk at all. Just, well, human. I guess. You know each other long? You know each other long? Half our lives. Grew up in the same streets. Saw each other a lot, but just never got together. Till you're back. Yeah. Best darn year of my life. Oh, sweetie. Jack told me about you? Jack talked about you. A lot. He did. Always saying how much you meant to him. Did he really say that? I bet he used different words. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe, but that's what he meant. I really believe that. You actually got to know him. The real Jackie. Everybody else thought he was a goofball with a rough-hewn face and an edge. But they're wrong. Who was he to you? What did you see in him? Let me tell you what he told me once. Told me he'd take a bullet for me. In an instant. Even if it'd kill him. Spoken like a true Haywood boy. Hmm. A man. With dreams. Ambitions. Only thing they cost him was his life. There's a huge chunk of his past in there. Why don't you go in? How come you're outside? I don't have the key. Jackie never gave you a set? You two didn't get that far. He offered, but I wanted him to have his own space. Just his own. Well, help me find something for the ofrenda? Mama Wells is having a send-off for Jackie. I need to find something he really cared about. Mind giving me a hand? I'm not sure I should go in there, V. Still too soon. No, it's not that. Mama Wells and I aren't exactly on the best terms. Why? She wouldn't want me touching any of his things. Disturbing the memory. That I know. Jackie'd want you here. That's more important. It is. Come on. Open. I like the keys. Look at them. They look awesome. <laughs> Gotta be hanging here since 2020. <laughs> Jackie loved to pump iron, didn't he? He called it his form of meditation. He used to say, barbells are the best listeners. They understand all your problems and never give you gonk advice. The posters are motivational posters and then the gym equipment was put through hell. <laughs> Basketball signed by Dante Gonzalez. He was from Haywood too. Everyone here shot hoops. Dante ran circles around him. I think he might have been the first kid to ditch the Valentinos. Like Jackie? Mm-hmm. They both wanted more out of life. Dante's captain of the NC Blackouts now. Autographed by Dante Gonzalez. Fine piece of metal and mechanics. <laughs> he was so psyched. 
It's a Nazare, I number one viewer's favorite on the show Guns and Horses for two years in a row. Love to poke around engines. He was 15 when he first got on a bike. Knowing him, it is a miracle he never wiped out. Recently used for repair. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> Guess no man cave's complete without some of those, huh? <laughs> he said they're collectibles. They don't print them anymore. Sure. It's definitely why they're up there, yeah. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Pin-up posters. You know. For whom the bell tolls, Ernest Hemingway. Jack read it a dozen times. Always right before a big job. Really? He said the guy who wrote it was tougher than Morgan Blackhand. You read it? Is it any good? I... <laughs> I never got the chance. It'd be a good tribute for the Ofrenda, though. Maybe. Oh, how about I keep looking first? Still full. His favorite. Strategic reserve. No touching. How come? ¿Por qué no puedes tocar una reserva estratégica, va? <laughs> because you can't touch a strategic reserve. I... I... Okay. What does that say? Looters will be shot. Okay, did I miss anything else? I feel like I'm missing more stuff. No. Locked. Wonder what's in there. That's his lair. Slept there. He must have had a different key. Let's look around. Might be tucked away somewhere? Um... Did he call it his lair? Was that like his phraseology? Oh, here it is. I like walked right past it. Found it. A million times. Um, I mean, I literally just looted this crate. <laughs> I love the keys. Oh, Jackie. That a, a mandala? Mm-hmm. Oh. It's a long story. Are you okay? Hey, you all right? I'm so much better than all right. I once told Jackie he should sweep all the dark energy out of this place. A sand mandala would do the trick, for example. He told me that out of sand he'd build a castle, a home, the Wells family hideout, stronghold, something. I guess you made a bigger impression than you thought. I guess I did. It looks a little crooked. <laughs> it's it's beautiful. Let's be nice. It's beautiful. It's hideous. <laughs> but it's also the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Oh, sweetie. I, I, I understand what you're saying. An aquarium? It used to be tacos. And taco was... Miss Fish. A dwarf shark. Like, mini. Really? Sounds like a mighty expensive fish. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't think he bought it. <laughs> Designed for fish farming at home. <laughs> it's like, oh, he totally didn't buy it. Be. He'll be silly. Oh, there's more stuff over here. Jackie's belt? Leather belt? Sort of a memento. His dad's. He used to beat both Jackie and his mom with it. Oh, God. Until one day, Jackie fought back. Kicked his butt. Told him he'd kill him next time. Old man was hospitalized, and then he left. Why did he hold on to it? In case his dad ever comes back. Should make sure he doesn't come back. No, I'm not taking a belt. And then Wells family photo. Jackie looks about ten. His dad looks rough. There's something over there. Nice still. Oh. Yes, we will totally jack into his computer. Okay. Five five. Five five one C. Okay. Five 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 one C. PD one C. Got him. Yes. 
Quick hack contagion. Sounds dangerous. Messages. Gorgeous ride looking for a new owner from Arch Bike Shop. Jackie, my man, you won't believe your luck. A collector's selling a beauty in premium condition price is good if a little over your budget. Let me know if you're interested because if you aren't, it'll go to someone else. Peace, Sid. Saturday from Victor to Jackie. This Saturday, the boys are competing for the World Heavyweight Championship. Savitz versus Blanco. Beers are already cooling in the fridge. Don't forget about our deal. Blanco wins by KO in the third round. You better have the Eddies not letting you off the hook this time, VV. And then Dex. So from T Bug to Jackie. Where where is T Bug? Is she like gone gone or was she just disconnected? I feel like she's gone gone. Anyway, I vouched for you and V. He heard about you, remembered you all too well even. He'll want to meet with V, but I think it's just a formality. See you at the afterlife. Winky smiley face. That's, oh. Okay, is there anything else? His favorite tequila. <laughs> Jackie's favorite tequila. Still sealed. It's his lucky charm. Oh? One of the first bottles ever made by Jesus de Abajo. The founder of Sensan Tequila. Only a hundred of them left in the world. All owned by the one percent. How did Jackie get this one? Some shriveled abuela in Mexico sold it to him. Told him de Abajo had stolen her recipe. <laughs> All right, well, I guess I've scanned everything and now I need to choose. I think I will choose the book. Because if he read it before every big job, I feel like it's it would be good. Jack, pure and simple. Well, you got something for your refrenda, mm -hmm. but we could look around a little more. No, I think I'm I think I'm going to go. Are you are you going to come with me? Where are you going? Actually, V, I think I'll stay a while. Say bye to him here. Mama Wells wouldn't want me there anyway. What's going on with you two? What happened between you two? What's the beef? Let's just say she didn't see me as daughter-in-law material. What did she have against you? That my name wasn't Camila and I wasn't Jackie's ex-output. Camila was Mama Wells' favorite. Oh. Right. No, you really should come. You gotta come, Misty. Got a right to be there. Absolutely. I'd rather not get in Mama Well's way. It's for family. You were family to him. Exactly. I guess you're right. Thanks, V. So, shall we go? We shall go. Oh, ever think of leaving Night City? You ever thought you might leave Night City? Sure. Once upon a time, I even tried. Seriously? Meaning... Packed my bags and hopped on a plane to Nepal. Thought I'd stay there. Oh. After a week, I realized I couldn't live without the traffic outside my window and my neighbors hollering. <laughs> I, I understand. I got used to... I'm stuck again. What's going on? I got used to L trains when I lived in Chicago, and now I can't not I'll have... I'll see you at the Coyote, then. ...city noises when I go to sleep. But anyway, I'm going to pause things here today, because clearly I'm having some sort of technical difficulties. But in tomorrow's video, we will go to Jackie's Afrenda, and I'm not sure what we'll do after that, but I'll, I'll figure it out. We'll see how it goes like normal. <laughs> but as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe, and I will see you again tomorrow with another new cyberpunk video.